Okay, so here's the wide archways and floor tiles, um, and it's also got the um, the butcher's block on it there as well. So um, we might as well just start with that, pop the butcher's block out. And the butcher's block is basically just like the table from the room items. Okay, so you've got a couple of pieces here, which we just slot together, like so. And then, and again, if you wanted to glue those bits together, you could do, because they're just going to stay like that. But not the top. Doo -doo. We've got a couple of reversible images on that, and that just pops in there like so. That's your table. And we have um, we did have these as images on the table, but we've um, managed to tour them, very fiddly, uh, but we managed to tour them, and that gives you this really cool little... Um, butcher's knife and, and chopping block which of course you know in the heat of battle will get scattered or whatever um, which is really kind of cool so there you go there's the butcher's block uh, might as well do the wide archway so you've got your long piece here we need to bend these through one there We've got these half cuts. And you'll notice we've got no wall clips here because we don't need them. Um, it's wide, but it's not that, that wide, or as it were. Um, pop that in there. And again, you're going to get a bit of a tension, tension here. You just slot that in. Okay. So just like the same uh, uh, for everything else. And you notice there's a little bit of sag here. Now, again, you're probably... You don't need to. It's nice and solid, but, you know, you could probably... Once you've assembled that, just pop it out, dab of glue, and hold the whole thing in place, and that will do. That would hold it up. But we don't say you have to do that, and so you get these bits here. Uh, these make the whole thing look really cool, but they also make sure that that doesn't bow down. So you just put it on a little bit like that. Okay, just the very edge of it, so that the you can then dip this little slot underneath and then you push it back okay and you can do the same on that side there or you could do one that side if you wanted to um, it doesn't really matter pop that in there dip it under push it back and that holds that up nice and neat to the top but also adds this like nice gargoyle type thing going on there really cool and then of course just like a normal wall you pop your wall clips in the bottom One. Two. and on this one we've supplied it with these ramps which are the, the ones that allow you to connect it to a wall um, at a sort of a T-junction-y stroke kind of used for corners and stuff like that um, which is really cool of course you can just replace it from the single doors with the ones that go straight down uh, because it's a longer wall we thought well you're more likely to have like a, this is part of, part of a smaller room maybe um, it doesn't really matter You've got flexibility in your set. So there you go. There's your wide, wide archway. All that leaves on here then are your bigger floor tiles, which come in very handy. Um, and actually, because we had a little bit of space that we couldn't really do much with um, at all, um, we've got these two mini trap counters. Okay, One's trap, one is not. And that gives you something you can mess about with inside the... Uh, inside your dungeon uh, and then you've got this these larger pieces here which one of which we've textured as a, a nice big wooden kind of platform we well, haven't got that in the prototype that was a last minute uh, addition as it were so I never really got to use that which is really cool so basically bring it back over here if you've got a section of wall like this instead of having um, instead of having a corner piece on here or you know a section of whatever you can have a much larger area to battle with when you're um, looking at the t you know when, when, when you're up, up, up above um, you know above level uh, or level one or ground or above as it were um, which is really really cool um, or of course you can have that as your you know part of the end of a rope bridge that leads into a larger area you can have a battle do whatever it is you want to do so they come in really useful of course you can put two together and make an even larger area um, the other thing it does do we spoke about making towers um, what we what happens is, is when you make a tower 
um, and it goes up you obviously put that on you build another set of walls on top and you build you can do like you know you can have some things like that going on and if you leave the back you can even leave the back of your towers open so you can get figures going in um, as well uh, or you can do it so you just you don't really clip it on properly and you can you can lift off levels to get to underneath levels as it were so there you go that's that uh, that was pretty simple that was the the wide archways and four tiles.